So this is question four from, from the paper that you were looking at. Uh, ugh, yucky question. Uh, we've got two two lines, two straight lines, and we need to know where they cross over. Right, okay. So let's start off. Let's just draw a very quick sketch. Okay, sketches so often can just help us out, see what's going on. Okay, so we've got L1. Goes through roughly, goes through sort of call it four six, which is about there. And then we've got twelve two over here somewhere. There we go. And we've got we've got L1. Okay. And then L2, it tells me it goes through the origin, and then it's got a gradient of minus three. That means it's kind of going like that somewhere. Okay. So stick that in there. Right. So where do you cross over? Right, it looks like it's gonna cross over over there somewhere, okay? So it's gonna like carry on up there. There we go. It's gonna cross over there. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to work out an equation for this line, equation for this line. Now, this is the easiest one, right? Remember, it looks like y equals mx plus 2. Remember, this is L2. So we know the gradient is minus 3, and it passes through the origin. Done. L2 is done. Right, let's go to L1. L1, we need to know what the, uh, what the gradient is. So we look at the difference in y, okay? So that's the 6. Going down to two, so that's minus minus four, okay, and then it goes from four to twelve, so that's eight. Difference in y divided by the difference in x is minus four over eight, which is a half. Right. So wait a minute, we got the gradient just there. Fantastic. Right. We want to make it look like y equals mx plus c. So let's just take a coordinate four six. And we know the gradient is minus a half. So we just put all that information in. So 6 equals minus a half. And then we've got the uh, x is uh, 4. Whoops, we forgot. And then plus c. So 6 equals minus, uh, so oops, let's just write minus 2, what I meant to say. And then add that. So c equals 8. Don't quite know what happened to me c just there. Never mind. Right, so let's write that out. y equals minus a half x plus 8. Right, fantastic. Right, so now what we need to do is we need to say, right, so when are they going to cross over? So there's the equation of the two lines. So we just say, right, when's that equal to that? So just write it like this. Minus 3x equals minus half x plus 8. Right, add half x to both sides. So we get minus 5 over 2x, that's 2 and a half, yeah? Um, and that equals 8. Multiply both sides by 2, so that gives me minus 5 equals 16, and then divide by the minus 5. So x equals minus 5 over 16. There you go. Right, there's the first coordinate, uh, the first ordinate, I should say. And then we need to work out the y bit. Well, the y bit is just going to be... Um, oh, what have I done there? What have I done there? Divide, divide, divide by minus five. Oh, dear me. There you go. Nearly messed that up. Right. So I was just looking at that, thinking, hey, something's not quite right there. Right. So we've got the uh, we've got the x ordinate, and then we need to know the y one. Well, y equals minus three x. So just multiply this by three. So that's just going to be minus forty eight over five. There we go. There's our coordinate. About where they cross over is just going to be like that, just there. Little mistake, see, nearly made it, yeah. Not just multiplying by 3, we're multiplying by minus 3. There you go. That should be that. There you go. Just there. Right. Done. Time for another question.